Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Who said I was an angel? So today you're probably looking at all this stuff on me and you're like, okay, so she's doing a unboxing haul. But no. It's gonna be three things. So I wanted to do an unboxing video, but I didn't really have enough stuff to make it a full video. And then I wanted to do an assumptions video, but I only got three assumptions, so I can't make that a video. And I wanted to give you guys a life update. But not that much stuff happened. So it's all gonna be one video. Okay, so that's what we're doing today. And they have this bag has jewelry in it, so. Anyways, I'm just gonna start with my haul because I feel like that's what you guys want most. So you guys are getting sneak peeks of some of my concert outfits and stuff because most of these things, they have a specific occasion and that's why I ordered them. So first let's start with Rolling Loud. So day one of Rolling Loud, I'm seeing Cardi B. So I got Cardi B Barty Gang earrings and I bought Cardi B Barty Gang necklace. I didn't know this was in this. Okay, so let's, okay, let's look at the earrings first because oh my gosh, they're, they're bamboo. Oh my gosh, look, 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 look. Bamboo Barty Gang. These are, oh, I'm gonna be slaying. Really loud. And then I got a Barty Gang necklace that's smaller than what it shows on the site, but, oh wait, never mind. It, they folded it up and made it look small. Look how, look how cute. This is, is Barty Gang, you already know. So these are my Rolling Loud things. Everything else I need for Rolling Loud I already ordered. So I guess this is like a sneak peek. But my outfits, you guys haven't seen. Oh wait, there's more jewelry for Rolling Loud. Never mind. But like the only Rolling Loud stuff I'm showing you is jewelry because I already got my clothes. So these are two necklaces because the Bardian necklace is for day one and the other two are for day two and day three. So this first necklace, I don't know which one this is. So I guess we'll just find out now. This oh, this one is the one that says Okay guys, that first necklace I showed you says baby girl, okay? And then <laughs> this necklace is the Barty Gang one. I'm a mess. But okay, anyways, Barty Gang, Gang, Gang. Love that. And then this last necklace is it has a rose. And it's really cute, and it's gonna go good with my outfit, one of my outfits. So it's a rose, as you can see. Okay, so that's all my jewelry. There's only like one concert outfit in these H&M clothes, and then the rest is just stuff that I'm so excited about. So first off, first off, first off, guys, you guys know I love grease. I got a grease pajama, oh shoot nightgown can you believe i was literally i was saw something dirty dancing on forever 21 site and i was like okay well they must have grease stuff because grease is bigger than dirty dancing and they did and i was like wow so next we have this ariana comp hoodie and this is for one of my ariana concerts and i can't say which night because it's a surprise what my third show is. Nobody knows. I mean, some people know. That's part of my life update. I was supposed to go to two Ariana shows, and now I'm going to three. But the third show is going to be a surprise. So, it's extra small. See how this is extra small, and it's still big for me? Okay, so anyways, it's cropped. Hold up. It's cropped like this. And then on the back, it says all the songs from sweetener love that then i got this is this the coolest pajama or the coolest shirt okay i got the coolest shirt and it's like my third or fourth coolest shirt crazy i know i'm a crackhead so um my i got a call but anyways this is the clueless shirt. It is so cute. If you know me, clueless is top 10. One of my favorite movies. So that's like amazing. This is okay, so this next thing is my friend's pajama. So that's the second pajama I'm gonna be showing. Wait, what's left? Yeah, and then there's one more pajama after that. I really just bought pajamas and like shirts. And then like that one hoodie for my Ariana shirt. So this is my friend's pajama. It's a nightgown. 
because there's friends and it's really cute or whatever. It's an extra small because you know he's tiny. Everything I bought is an extra small. So if you're small and petite like me, the H&M is the way to go. So then this next, oh, this next shirt is a friend shirt. It's also extra small. And oh my gosh, this is so cute. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. I got all these clothes, by the way, guys, and like the clothes that aren't for festivals, like I really don't know where they're gonna get worn, but yeah. Okay, this last thing from H&M. I wish it was like clothes clothes. Okay, I'll show you guys. So it's a pajama, but like watch me wear the shirt as a normal shirt. So this is the top. The friends top, it's for pajamas. And then there's these cute bottoms that I'll probably wear with other stuff. But like, yeah. <laughs> so I got three pajamas, two shirts, and one crop hoodie. And then next, you guys are going to be seeing the dress I ordered for one of my Ariana shows. And it's this floral white. Oh my gosh, it is so cute. This floral white plain dress. So like one of my Ariana shows, I'm wearing this. The other one, I'm wearing a pop sweater. And then the other one, I'm wearing another white dress. So I'm like doing different styles for different shows. So that's this. By the way, I forgot to say this dress is from Chopo. I finally got Sisters Apparel, guys. So this is exciting. I got this is, oh shoot. The Sisters Apparel booty shorts from the downtown collection. Oh my god, it's, it's, yeah, I want you guys to see the sisters part because we love sisters and it's so cute. And then I got the matching crop hoodie. Which I should have got like a routine, like sisters hoodie, like you know, the one that everybody else has. But oh my gosh, this is okay. First of all, I love that it's plain because it can go with so much stuff, and then on the sides. It says sisters. So yeah, that's my haul part. I'm gonna do my assumptions. So I only got three, but I'll try to elaborate on them because they're somewhat similar. So the first assumption is your dating preference is white guys, and that is true. But like people think like I prefer white guys just to like bring down my actual race, and I just don't find black guys attractive. If they have a good personality, I would probably date them, but, like, looks-wise, I, if I ever end up with a black guy, it's because I like his personality, because I promise you there's not, like, a single black guy on the planet that I literally genuinely find attractive. I like white guys, and then actually, I don't know, I'm starting to prefer Spanish guys a little bit more than white guys, because, oof, they can dance, and I love to dance. The thing about Spanish guys is they can dance. So, like, and that's a big thing for me. If you can't dance, like, really don't think I could date you. So, that assumption is true. My preference is white guys. And then the second one is most of your money from work goes towards concerts. So, that's, like, not true because half my, okay, so my first paycheck of the month, I just spend it on whatever. So, I guess, for the most part, that would be concerts and then, like, food and transportation to work. And then my second paycheck, oh, and then every paycheck, a certain, I, I'm not going to say the amount because it changes based, based on my financial situation, but every month I always put money in my savings account twice. So I'll keep that in mind. And then my second paycheck of the month, it goes to all my bills. So, like, I don't know, I have a balance. Not all my money goes towards concerts. I have to pay for my phone, internet, cable, and a portion of rent. I'm probably, I think I'm forgetting something. And then I have to pay for transportation to work. And I have to pay for my own food. So, like, I'm living in my parents' house as if I was, like, renting a, renting out a room, like, basically with a stranger. So, I'm, like, almost living on my own. So, I kind of balance. And I make it work. Two more assumptions. There's one, I thought you didn't like me, but I also thought you hated, like, everyone. So, this person goes to my school. She's one of my close friends. And, like... Her assumption is half wrong, half right. I don't hate her, but I do. I went through this stage where I hated like everyone. So when she said my assumption is that 
I thought you hated everyone. That's actually true because I did go through a time where I hated everyone. I just like kept to myself and like did my own thing, like just move in silence, you know. But now 2019, I feel like as you can see from my social media, if you follow me, I've been making more friends, going out with old friends and just like being more of a people person. And I've always been a people person, but like my old high school really like messed me up. Like it made me turn into a I hate everyone person. But once I left that school, things got better and I'm not an I hate everyone person no more. And last one is from my other friend from my old school. She says, you have a man's on the low. Oh my gosh, that is the most biggest assumption everyone has about me my co-workers my relatives my friends random guys that try to hit at me and when i say i'm single but i'm not looking for somebody they're like nah you bugging you lying i swear i'm not lying i don't have a man's on the low i like you know, i guess there could have been possible people but like i'm such a hard like person to impress like it's really hard to impress me so my six single my whole life but it's okay because i'm not gonna just end up with no bum like i'd rather just be single my whole life than just date someone just to date someone for just because people want me to and i feel like there's so much pressure for me to date because like everyone my age has had boyfriends for years since like middle school and i've never talked to anyone or dated anyone so like everyone's like pushing me to do it and it's like you can't just go up to someone and be like hey you be my boyfriend like yes be natural so that's that. And then the last part of this video is my life update. So first things first, I got a silk press and now you can see my highlights a little more, I think. Don't look at my roots because I like my do-rag, I put it on the wrong way and it like kind of curved, it waved my roots a little bit. Well, not my roots, I meant the front of my hair. My roots are straight because I've been taking care of it, but yeah so that's that and lastly i'm going to three jennifer lopez shows madison square garden night two and miami night one and two so which means my summer how my summer is going to be looking like is for me i consider summer to start in june so june i'm going to new york for ariana and then july i'm going to new york for j-lo and then i have two more j-lo shows so I will be back and forth in Miami and New York for the summer. So that's just what I wanted to tell you guys. So that's a life update. Um, I'm really just been working, working, working. And when I'm not working and I go to events, I try to vlog. I met Ali Brooke two weeks ago and I tried to vlog, but I was so in the moment that day and it wasn't enough content. That's why I never posted it. So I'm sorry for people who follow me who I said I was gonna vlog. Like it would have been like four minutes worth of a vlog. And that's not a vlog, so that's why I didn't post it. But Ali Brooke was so sweet, and then next month I meet Tori Kelly. So there's a lot going on, a lot, a lot of things coming up, so a lot of content's coming. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and stay tuned for more vlogs coming up in the next couple months.